Richard Sears. In China, they call me Uncle Hanzi, or in Chinese, Hanzi Shushu. I first uh, became interested in Chinese at age of 22, and I've been involved with Chinese for the past 50 years. I'm always thinking, what was it like to live in China 5,000 years ago? So that I can understand the evolution of Chinese characters. Every part of every Chinese character is derived from a pictograph. Uh, and if you know the ancient pictograph and the original meaning, every Chinese character is logical. In Chinese, we have a, a saying, san yo san bao, o yo e bao. It basically means, as you sow, so shall you reap. It literally means, if you do good things, you will get good results. If you do bad things, you will get bad results. So this character originally meant a sentence. The bad guy gets sentenced to prison, the good guy gets released. And originally it was a death sentence on paper. Then it became a government document. And now it became a newspaper. So this is the logic behind the character for newspaper. I spent the past 30 years <laughs> making a website. I made a database of 100,000 ancient Chinese characters in order to explain 15,000 modern characters. If you put in any modern character, it will show you the evolution of that character for the past 3,500 years. And it will also tell you the logic of each part and why that character is written the way it is today. I now live in China permanently. When I first came to China mainland uh, 30 years ago, uh, there was barely enough to eat. Uh, things have changed. Now we have lots of good stuff to eat, interesting stuff to eat. Some days I cook for myself. Today I'm going to make gongbao chicken. Okay, this is Gongbao Jijing, ready to eat it. Wait, wait. Right? Right? Come on, cheese ambu. Yellow, good kitty. I've traveled around China, I've been to 21 provinces and Tibet and uh, Xinjiang and Inner Mongolia. And I like to talk to people and find out about their lives. Uh, everybody, uh, rich people, poor people, farmers, uh, workers, coal miners, students. So I've seen a lot of changes. So if it were 30 years ago or so, if you were uh, walking to a village like this, it would, have been, it would have been noisy, dirty, and poor. Uh, now they're all cleaned up and kind of like uh, for tourists and uh, people are living at a much higher level than they used to. So it used to be a few decades ago that all of China was kind of like this, uh, small villages. But now they've built huge cities and everybody lives in a city and places like this are kind of like for the weekend, uh, people come here as kind of a tourist place. For the past three years, we've been testing ourselves every single day, almost, for COVID. Uh, and almost nobody has got COVID for three years. And a couple of months ago, we stopped testing. Uh, 
。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好，你好。你好What it was like to live in China 5,000 years ago. I have a philosophy: "活到老, 学到老." It means you keep getting older, but you keep learning more, and that's my basic philosophy: "活到老, 学到老."